Pascal takes the first. Hello and welcome. We are back in round six of YCS Utrecht. We are uh, two thirds of the way there for day one. And we got another amazing feature match for you guys to watch at home. So first things first, let's bring out our red player, Daniel Schwartz from Germany. How's it going, Daniel? Uh, pretty good so far. I mean, you, you got a pretty good score so far? Yeah, five minutes, good. Yeah, can't, can't get much better than that, right? Yes. So um, tell us a little bit, what, what were your expectations going into this tournament? Do you think it was, uh, were you expecting to be doing this well? Uh, no, I was not expecting. Like, I, yesterday, like, I played a 3v3, I lost two rounds, and so I thought it would be terrible today, but it was going very well. Okay, good. Right, please take a seat. And our other player is Herman Hansen from Sweden. Herman, how's it going? Yeah, um, it's doing fine, of course. I'm 5 0, and uh, the deck has been performing as expected. So, I mean, same question. How, what were your expectations? You, you said it's performing as expected. Were you expecting to be EXO at this point? Well, you know, like, I don't want to be cocky, but uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> It's a it's a special deck, and uh, I built the deck myself, and uh, many of my friends are also playing it. So, is there, is there a lot of guys here from Sweden? I know I know there's uh, you know communities there. Uh, yeah, we're like ten or so people from Sweden this time. Well, it's uh, are you from the north of Sweden? Uh, middle Sweden. So, but Sweden's a big country, so uh, none of the people here besides one of them, Per, who is in the crowd, of course. It's uh, from the city or like the, uh, the place I live in, more okay. or less. Cool. All right, please take a seat. Have you decided who's going first? No? Oh, okay. How exciting. We get to see a dice roll. Have a go. Ooh, that's... Uh... I wonder if you, ro if you roll the continuous symbol, do you get an infinite amount of roll? Uh -oh. Who knows? So who's going to go first? You're going to go first. OK, we know who's going first. We know who our players are. Now just to the commentators. Take it away, guys. Welcome to round six of YCS Utrecht 2020. I'm Marcello Barberi, and I'm here with Roberto Marazzi. Hi, guys. Are there. So uh, nice to be here. So we are going to have a pretty exciting match. Of course, Herman, familiar face. He had the breakout performance of this year European uh, Championship in Utrecht, by the way. Yep. And uh, he was playing uh, the Thunder Dragon combo deck, very peculiar one. So he made it to the World Championship this year, and uh, he has been doing pretty well. So yep. he might be one of the players that is trying to get the top 16 uh, and compete for the World Championship once more. And on the other side, surprising fact is that he's playing against Thunder Dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we said that this is the first YCS of the year, so a lot has changed. And uh, the first huge change was the new Forbidden Limited list, which among a lot of other things, so Thunder Dragon Colossus getting banned. Somehow, Daniel is undefeated with yeah. Thunder Dragon today. So he doesn't think Colossus is uh, super <laughs> important. Needed, yeah. And yeah, a round of applause <laughs> from the crowd, because uh, it is deserved. I mean, it's always nice to see someone just thinking outside of the box and figure it out their own. And it seems like his strategy relies around artifact cards. Uh, he uses the only Thunder Dragon fusion left, which, which by is the way, <laughs> is not true, because we were looking <laughs> through the extra deck, and we read a card called Twin Added Thunder Dragon. Not gonna lie, I, yeah. I googled it. <laughs> and it's not a new card. It's actually the first ever Thunder Dragon fusion release, which is just a 2800 vanilla monster, yeah. which you make with double Thunder Dragon. We thought it was a new card. From yeah, the new, I mean, new it's working out <laughs> for him, but Herman for sure sure not gonna make things easy and the die roll didn't matter because Herman is playing a going second strategy yeah. a spiral deck with a lot of going second cards evenly matched gamma uh, mystic mind yeah. so it's gonna be an interesting one I really want to see who is gonna advance and move on with a 6-0 record let's go to the table okay so unfortunately we see the double thunder dragon being drawn there but at least there is double gamma on Herman's side. Yeah, who I mean, he has a decent hand. Uh, makes things even. Okay, so a card that we haven't seen so far this weekend, which is Dimension Shifter. Yeah, absolutely a strong card here. Yeah. For those of you who are not familiar with this card, you can discard you, this card and to the graveyard, of course, until the end of the next turn. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished. Yeah, it's, it's essentially a macrocosmos, and 
especially against all these popular Shadow decks, it's extremely powerful. And what's even better is that it makes your cards uh, just really good with Thunder Dragons because yep. they rely even if they're banished. So if you pick up here, for example, a Battery Man Solar, you can really get advantage through it. Yeah, so. and it's a really good card going second in this format. But uh, I think that Daniel, I mean, going first could have been like a really good hand, but uh, it seems he doesn't have that much going on at the moment. Yeah. It depends on this desire. Let's see what he draws. He really needs to be pick some things up. The Eastern Fusion is decent. It allows him to potentially go into the Titan, but it doesn't seem like he, he has anything else. So he didn't pick up his Artifact cards. But I guess the Shifter is good enough against most matchups, yeah. to be honest. And uh, the fact that he won the die roll means that Herman didn't reveal that he wants to go second, yeah. naturally. So. so his strategy still can continue in the second game, so let's see. But as we were saying yesterday, it's fun to see how this deck continues to play in, this, in, the, in the tournament, although Colossus is not yeah. here anymore, right? Pretty fun thing, by the way, is that during the World Championship uh, this last summer, Colossus, due to the combined Forbidden List, was limited. Yeah. And Herman was playing the Thunder Dragon deck, so yeah. he's definitely familiar with having uh, less copies of the, the card. Ooh, but the driver, the driver is picked is here. up. Uh, really bad draw with the two gammas in hand. Uh, tough one, really. Yeah, maybe after this match, Herman could <laughs> go play Thunder Dragon again, why not? Yeah, by the way, you didn't get my tough one. No, joke. I didn't get it as always, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, another <laughs> super great top deck here. And it seems like Herman just yeah, passed. Yeah, just passed, yeah. So, can we actually see some uh, advantage capitalizing from his opponent? Uh, uh, the cross ship is for sure a really good addition to the deck. And yeah, yeah we're going to see it here. It is. I say it's one of the... Uh, probably the most impactful cards uh, of the last set, so... Yeah, I think it was one of the best cards of the format this week, and also, I mean, yeah. Shadow, every single Shadow player is playing it, like in multiple copies, yeah. for example. Even uh, the just regular invoked yeah. decks, uh, and with Eastern Fusion especially, uh, there are a lot of uh, very cool combos, because if you go first, uh, you can set up a big field, but if you're going second, you can go Thousand Dice and bring it back and just have a lot of advantage, but... Gamma finally comes down. It's gonna uh, destroy the cross ship, revealing the other one in his hand. But yeah, we talked we talked a lot about Eastern Fusion. Like you're a fan. Like yesterday yeah. we were talking about how which deck we could have played if we were in the tournament, and you were telling me Eastern Fusion was Absolutely. one of these cards that you wanted to play. Uh, I mean, I think it's a good card anyway. Because, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of options. So so the drone is picked up. Uh, not exactly what he was looking for, but he still has a few options. And uh, with the big red in hand, he can try and play this out, actually. Yeah, I think he can deal with the Titan. Yeah, at I the mean, same time, Titan right now doesn't do anything, because yeah. uh, we know that there is no interruption from Daniel, but Herman doesn't know, so he's probably going to try and play around that if possible. Yeah, I think he's going to play around in any way, I mean, although he doesn't know that uh, <coughs> Daniel has any response at all. Yeah. But I think the search from the big red was probably due to that. Here, in a lot of situations, you will probably see the Titan uh, being used on the big red. So he got a second copy for the next turn in case that happened. But now the last resort uh, might come. Uh, he is not using the wire, which makes yeah. a lot of sense since he's going second regardless. But It's really cool how to see Spiral change the lock during the last years. We remember Jesse Cotton won YCS London like three years ago. And now he has a completely different strategy. Yeah. But it's cool to see how it interacts with Link monsters. It's exactly, but it's always been a deck uh, that is really good at going first or second. Yeah. So, But no, Herman just doesn't he feel like uh, he can yeah. do anything else. It could be risky, but okay. Uh, Daniel picked up a Dimension Shifter. Not gonna do anything, unfortunately, because just as a reminder, it's only good when you have no monsters in your graveyard. Yeah. So. After a while, it doesn't get any value. Uh, did he not use the Titan here? I think he didn't. Wow. Why, why not? Why it seems like he completely it? forgot to use yeah. the Titan uh, to destroy something. But now he can banish the fusion, get yeah. pot potentially the Orc from the deck. 
the destruction might have mattered, to yeah. be honest. I mean, I would have used it anyway. My baby is his first future match, and maybe he's under pressure. Who knows? Yeah. So. Here, the thing is, do you just get something? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I think you have to take, yeah. All, it's just better like, not yeah. to, over, like, if you had multiple copies of Colossus, as in the past, you do that, but here you just want to search for a card that can uh, trigger your Titan during your opponent's turn, so he's probably just going to make another Titan. He can, he could have potentially cleared the old board here, because yeah. if you use the Thunder Dragon, you just keep on discarding those to destroy Armand Field and push potentially enough to win the game. So that's why I'm a little confused here. Because I think if you destroy the Link Kuribo first, then uh, you have the Okin end and you can uh, fusion some. You just need the. Uh, yeah, you just damage. need to make some calculation here, but. Yeah, I but mean, I can't blame his decision anyway, because, like. Okay. okay. So a normal summon Thunder Dragon here. Which. Okay. So let's see what he, what he wants to do. Um, this was unexpected. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was completely unexpected. Um, uh, let's see what I mean. He's going for another Titan for sure here. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go for Titan, but I don't. Like, I'm checking what he has banished, and he can also just. Uh, doesn't have the free to summon Titan, which is why he went for this play. No, but because, like, as you were saying before. He could have done another Titan having the other one anyway on the field, right? Yeah, but this doesn't do anything because yeah. the big red protects it. Exactly. So this is actually not that yeah. great. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Daniel forgot about the second big effect, red effect. Yeah. And he's just gonna now use the Titan to destroy the quick fix, possibly. And Kuribo is chained. Chain blocking the Titan, because as uh, some people might have forgotten, they work just like the Paleozoic card. Yeah. Titan needs to be directly chained to the Thunder Dragon to resolve. Yeah, otherwise you cannot activate it. So yeah, it seems like uh, Daniel is getting a little, I mean, uh, frustrated by his emotions, I guess, playing on stream, uh, uh, especially of such a big event. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe it's, it's his it's first time, and uh, he could have done something, something better here, yeah. but... Uh, Let's see if Herman can go through it. So now the tough misses, but he allows him to go for a quick fix and finally go for some plays. Where is he gonna wait here? Probably for the helix. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, he has to go for for helix for sure. He knows that uh, Daniel has the dragon dark in his hand. Yeah. At the same time here, I think Herman also made a little bit of a misplay because. The Helix wouldn't be able to summon right there, so he would yeah. be forced to add. While if he plays the Link Kuribo in another zone, he didn't need yeah, to do anything exactly. special there. Yeah. But he is going to get stopped here by the S, the second big red, which is going to be such a good car here. Unfortunately, it is going to be a guess because the deck was shuffled, so can he get it right? Uh, ooh, ooh, it's another miss. And this is huge for Herman. If that went through, he probably could it have just lost the game. game. Yeah. yeah, this will cost Herman the game, actually. Missing twice, uh, it's absolutely not what you want to be doing. And yeah. now he's going to just try and improvise a way out of this. Yeah, it was really unlucky, pretty unfortunate for him here. Uh, he really needs to find a solution to deal with the Titan, and uh, it's not looking that good for Herman. It activates the Unicorn. Yeah. And then it comes Ooh, to but Sleeper. he draw the Sleeper, which is uh, actually a really good draw. He allows him to still pray through <laughs> this. Uh, with the last resort being searched, uh, it's actually putting uh, Daniel in a very, very close spot. So, And he was able to deal with Daniel's board. Yeah, unfortunately, Daniel could have done something different. But uh, yeah, Herman was able to come back. And now Herman is all in. Can he pick up something? The fusion is definitely a good way yeah, to start, actually. It's a really good one. Really good pickup, probably the best pickup he had here. This is still a very <laughs> close game, what we want to see. Because as you remember, Titan cannot be destroyed. Yeah. Uh, so, wow, what a pickup. Here comes the Titan. So, like, here Daniel has a chance to come back in this game, and uh, it looked like it was over, but yeah. it's not. But now this can change a lot of things. He can just protect the Titan yeah. by banishing uh, from the graveyard. 
and uh, if he gets to use, he's gonna force Zerman to just destroy his own board. Yeah. And wow. And now things are really going super for Daniel. Yeah, and this is gonna be awkward because then he still has the fusion for last turn, which he can use to search uh, a response. So maybe Daniel proving us all wrong in underestimating his deck and showing us why he's uh, undefeated in this competition right now. Yeah, I mean, I would never expect this deck working so good without the Colossus, honestly. Yeah. And to be honest, he didn't even draw any of his uh, artifact cards. Like, yeah, I mean, he's just playing with Thunder Dragon cards. Yeah. Because like his strategy, as we were saying before, is like he's relying on Sanctum and Sight, but he didn't draw any. Yeah, it doesn't seem too obvious because like against Winda, which is super popular, it doesn't seem like you can get to the Titan, uh, like to play around. Yeah, with, exactly. I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, of course, he wants to win the die roll for sure with this deck. Yeah. So but now he just attacks over it. Sleeper is gonna trigger, destroying the unicorn and getting the super agent or the helix from the graveyard. Or the helix, yeah. Which could have been, uh, but it was banished, so yeah. it, it couldn't have uh, got that. So the agent comes back. Unfortunately, I believe the quick fix was banished, yeah. which means he doesn't have that available for him. Yeah, Herma really needs to, to pick up something out of his deck and. Uh, yeah, and well played here by Daniel, yeah. uh, realizing he just needs to destroy it. Because right now, Herman is left with the, just the Droning yeah, Graveyard. exactly. Which means he can get back uh, the tough. Uh, what does he pick up? It's he a spell. Foolish Goods, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But we know that yeah. he still has the interruption, so not a bad pickup to just try and, and play, but I think if his opponent still is able to use the Matrix or yeah, just the Dark, exactly. uh, he's gonna completely shut down Herman. Yeah, and because I think, he has two yeah, moves. This is looking like Daniel will be able to win. Yeah, yeah. and Herman just passed and Sanctum, Sanctum is picked up. Wow. He didn't even need it, but <laughs> it's gonna close the deal if there was anything. And here you can see every turn he has been using the Fusion from Graveyard. Just a lot of recycling and if he picks up the roar, he can just keep on recycling yeah, the fusion exactly. once more. Yeah, he has been taking advantage out of his deck every single turn, and now, of course, the Sanctum helps him, but he's really sitting in a good spot. Yeah, essentially playing it as a grind game. Yeah. So, gonna go into another cross chip potentially. Yeah. Okay, no, Mascarena. Mascarena. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Herman. Uh, yeah, has I mean, any he has just the, the drone and the. But, uh, I mean, to be honest, though, I am. Uh, just now thinking of an option. Uh, what if Herman picks, like, doesn't die here and he picks up the Mystic Mine? Maybe uh. that's <laughs> a way to uh, cheese this game. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's the only way to go with this yeah. one. So I, I mean, think he's gonna try and do it that. Will either pick an Extravagance <laughs> and then pray. Yeah, at the same time, to be honest, uh, the Mystic Mine wouldn't do much against the Titan. Because yeah. then you can just chain any yeah. Thunder Dragon, chain the Titan, destroy yeah. it, and. Uh, it's one of those few decks that have inner and outs to yeah. the Mystic Mind, so... It doesn't seem he doesn't have yeah. that much to say. I, yeah. don't see, I don't see a way out yeah. of this. Uh, he also has the Sanctum. And here, the funny thing is, if he used the trap, then Sanctum would have destroyed the agent. Yeah. So... He picks a reinforcement of the army, which is good, okay, but... Um, Not as gonna good be really as, he, yeah. as he needs, yeah. He's just gonna try his best. Like, he knows that he has the tough he can pick up back uh, and uh, one special summon. So, yep. can he miss for the third time in a row? <laughs> Let's see. He has to call monsters. Wow, wow. again! <laughs> third one. Wow, three in a row. He always misses. The luck is not on Herman's side. And he has seen enough. Daniel wins game one. And Daniel, guys, is w one win away for a 6 0 record, which is really impressive. Yeah, so unbelievable first game. Yeah. Uh, Thunder Dragon, I mean, out of nowhere, he just completely dominated the game. Uh, there were a few uh, close spots, uh, but after a while, I feel like Daniel was just pretty confident. Yeah, with I it. mean, exactly. We thought that Daniel could have lost this game because, like, he, he didn't have that much going on. Yeah. But then, then he was able to activate every single turn his fusion in the graveyard. And Thunder Dragon is still rocking. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> uh, as I said, 
Dimension Shifter definitely changed it because yeah, he's sure. slowing down, but I gotta feel sorry for Herman. Not only did he miss three times out of three, yeah. but he also opened double gamma and driver, which yeah. is just it was so pretty, unlikely. Yeah, pretty unfortunate for him. But now we are gonna go to the side decks, and the interesting thing is that Daniel doesn't know that Herman wanted to go second. Yeah, exactly. So now it's interesting because Herman has a lot of good cards against this deck. Dark Lure No More on top yeah. of them all. It shuts down the Titan. Yeah, so. Which has been, I think, the, the, the best card against Titan Dragon so far in the last months since yeah. Colosso was banned in the Forbidden Limited list. And also he has the other artifact card, which is the Lancia, which yeah. I don't think was that popular this <laughs> no, weekend. No, I mean, it's a card that we haven't seen so far this weekend, but it's kind of understandable because if Herman is playing against someone who let him go first, yeah. he just wants to prevent an evilly matched. Absolutely, and uh, in this case, it will work even better because most exactly. of the openers from uh, his opponent involve banishing. So, yeah. uh, when Colossus was a thing, uh, it was completely different. But yeah. now, if you Lancia, you are pretty much guaranteed that Titan is not going to come down. They yeah. need a fusion with three targets, which is quite unlikely. Uh, Daniel, on his other hand, uh, uh, probably expected Spiral because, along with Shadow. They are the most represented deck this weekend. And you can tell by his side decks. He has yep. Drone and Lock, amazing and drop against the deck, probably the best alongside Diddy Crow. Yep. And he has his own copies of Mystic Mind. Yeah. But do is, you think he will side yeah, in? I think so. It's it's something that we've seen this weekend, like uh, combo decks game one, then game two, they just side Mystic Mind because they all sided out their cards. Yep. And they you see it with Alpai in our <laughs> match. That was yep. like crazy. But anyway, they have drawn their end. So let's go to the match for game two. Yeah, I mean, we have seen how Mystic Man is powerful in this format because if you don't have any out in your deck, you're actually yeah. out of the game. An incredible strong end from Daniel. He has Drone and Lock, the Shifter here, and the Battery Man Solar. The Gamma is there Ooh. from Airman, unfortunately. Is he going to use it here? He is. Yeah, he okay. is. Yeah. So he's going to shut him down. If he didn't use it here, he would have been in trouble. So. Very good understanding yeah. uh, of uh, his opponent deck. Uh, and the rest of his hand, unfortunately, is completely useless, yeah. though, from Herman. He has a one for one, so he can pick up any, any monster, monster to make it really good. But yeah, he, if he doesn't pick up a monster, he doesn't have anything right now. Let's see what he picks up. Can he get a monster? And it's gum, it, it OK. Does. OK, that's, that's good. fine. So one for one comes down. That's what he needed. So at least he can do something here. He has, of course, Daniel has a drone lock. Yeah, yeah. One for one is just probably one of the most powerful cards in the deck. Yep. And uh, he does pick up the monster. So drone lock comes down, but it doesn't stop the drone and the helix from resolving. Things are, are you ooh. like? Are I'm just confused to why he didn't use the shifter at the beginning. Like, yeah. he could have chained it to the Gamma, right? Yeah, I mean, he could have activated the Shifter, preventing Herman yeah. to play again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, now he can just look. Yeah, I think that was uh, quite unfortunate. He, he had to chain the Shifter to the Gamma. Yeah. That way, he would have prevented all of this exactly. from, uh, from happening. Also, because he doesn't have any play at all. So, yeah, of course, Droll was, was activated, but uh, he really needs to pick up something out of his deck. Otherwise, he can play any single card. Yeah, and here we do have one of the side deck cards from Herman, which is the Utility Wire. Uh, I think he has more than enough to just close this one out unless something crazy is yeah. picked up. It is the Ock, and this seems yeah. like it's going to be game over, so uh, Herman just needs to find enough damage, and it's super easy to do. So yeah, I'm really interested in yeah. uh, what would have happened if the Shifter was there, though. Yeah, I mean, he should have activated it, because otherwise, I mean... He he could have survived another turn, in my opinion, but yeah, for sure, so yeah, he won his scoop. Yeah. Daniel has seen enough, so it's going to be a quick game two, and uh, the score is even. 1-1, one, one, and now everything is back to where we started, so it seems it seems like uh, now Daniel has a little bit of an advantage, because yeah. Gamma was drawn every single time from Herman right now, yeah. and it's the only way he has in his deck to stop the side, the artifact cards. But uh, if that is not drawn, then the artifacts just completely seal the deal, I exactly. think. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think Daniel has to go first anyway. What do you think? I mean, he's playing the Sanctum. Yeah. Especially because, I mean, I mean, now your opponent uh, lets you know that he's uh, going second with that. Exactly. Which is 
I guess, reasonable. I'm still uh, wondering about the Mystic Mines. I think like those are really important, but uh, it's it's definitely close. I feel like uh, you want to go first with the artifacts. Just. Yeah, I mean, I will side in any way the Mystic Mine because like I don't see any reasons not to side them in. Of course, Armand I mean, if knows, you go first, though, it's it's probably not something you can do. But yeah, but maybe like by the moment that Herman is going second, do you think that Daniel has any chance to think that is siding in any out against the Mystic Mine? No, uh, it's it's very close. Like what I'm a skeptic about is that you gotta think that your opponent is playing Mystic yeah. Mine. Like the going second spiral strategy was not really seen before, but I saw a lot of uh, chatting about it on Friday of yeah. uh, this event, uh, and everyone was just saying, yeah, they play Mystic Mine, they play Evenly, they play Lightning Storm. So you should have pretty much an idea of what their deck look like. And if that's the case, you should have a few out to the Yeah, mine. because as, as you were saying before, Herman is main deck in three copies of Lightning, Lightning Storm. Yeah. But by the moment he's playing against Standard yeah, Dragon, maybe. Yeah, they are maybe. pretty much useless. Exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it could be, it interesting. be close. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to have an uh, interesting deck moving on, undefeated. So, who is going to take this match? One more game, one more, and drawn. Let's go to the table. And for the last time, once more, Gamma is picked up by yep. Herman. He has also the Lancia. And the Mystic Mine. So maybe if Daniel was that brave to not side any outs, we could have a game similar to what we have seen with Alpai. This is going to be interesting because Herman has a good hand and he has the Mystic Mine, but besides the Mystic Mine, he doesn't have anything. But uh, let's see, because of course Daniel has couple of few moves going on here. Herman on his hand just has Valencia, the driver and everything. So, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Is he gonna just play it slowly or... What, did, did you catch what the second uh, card was? He, he, the he, fusion, he right? Has, he has a, a spell card for sure. What he do you he think? had three spell cards. Yeah, no, it's another fusion. Why do you think he said it? Okay, and Gamma once more is gonna negate this solar. Uh, the rest of his end uh, is definitely not what you wanna see. Like, you can go for instant fusion and then end on the Titan, but yeah. that means you don't have any way of uh, interacting exactly. with your opponent. But, but I'm still wondering why he decided to set the, the fusion. I don't know. He just ended it here. In another Mystic Mine. Can Armon pick up something? He picks up another, and both of these guys are not really doing much, so yeah. just gonna pass, and Sarcophagus, Sarcophagus is picked up. Really good card here. Lancia is gonna be chained to it. Yep, yep. there so it is. It's gonna be one of those top decking uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games that are pretty exciting to watch, I guess. Oh, another rescue. useless card from Armon, though. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see if he can pick up something. Draw. Nothing. Draw. Yeah, this is just. But yeah. why do you think he should consider just going Titan? Like. Yeah, I mean, um, he should consider it because like Erman doesn't have anything. Okay, this is not. He's just going okay. to go back to him. Gamma another again. Gamma. Another card. Pass. Pass. Draw. Pass. A shifter. <laughs> wow. What a game. <laughs> It doesn't seem like we can commentate on a, yeah, on a just not normal much going game. On. Yeah. They're actually trying to pick up something out of their deck, but... Uh, no one is drawing <laughs> another, another plan. plan, wow. Guys. But here, actually, that's not that bad, because yeah. you can discard it to the graveyard, so... Another draw. Another draw. What is this game <laughs> even about? Like, I've never seen this. They have been passing for, like, six, six turns. turns yeah. yeah, something like that. Wow. And also, the Mystic Man is completely useless in Hermas End, so... Who said Yu-Gi-Oh was a one-turn game, yeah? <laughs> Another, Another gamma. gamma, what is going on? Like, wow. And the Hawk. And the Hawk, okay. Again, not that useful. Well, it looks, looks like Daniel is laughing. <laughs> yeah, they're both uh, laughing at it, because it's just honestly unbelievable. Eight turns of just drawing and passing is not what you usually see. And the tough, finally, finally, a playable cards from Herman. Is he gonna pull the trigger? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, I think now he's going to to push for some damage here. Of course, he doesn't know that uh, Daniel yeah. has the draw lock in his hand. But anyway, he can deal some damage and take advantage. Yeah, he could potentially try and just go for the OTK. So this draw is gonna unfortunately 
really stop in there because yeah. the master plan is not going to be able to add. Let's see if he can still find enough damage. So the tough comes down. He's trying to pick. Okay. Finally, finally. finally. So kudos to Hermon for sticking on uh, monsters. The fourth time he finally got to destroy it. But uh, this means that he's able to resolve a double elix if he feels like yep. it. Uh, the rest of his hand uh, means that he might just go for uh, the sleeper. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to, to deal some damage yeah. here. I mean, but uh, the problem is he cannot add due to draw, yeah. so he's forced to special summon, and uh, that could be a drone, yeah. it could be a quick a fix. Quick fix. Uh, Let's see so. what he decides to, to special summon. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think uh, he has quite enough, though, no. does he? No, he doesn't. So yeah. I don't really like his position now, because. I decided to stack a card in uh, Daniel's hand. Okay, Daniel's the shifter okay, is going to be here. put there, which is completely useless now that there are cards in the graveyard. But he's risking it here, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, because his hand is not that consistent. He doesn't have nothing here. Yeah, uh, it's, except for it seems his like board. he's just pushing some damage and uh, uh, setting the other rescue, and that's it. So. Really big chance here from Daniel to capitalize. He's gonna be able to banish the fusion from Grave, yep. possibly getting a Matrix or any card to get things going on. Even the Solar with the Okin and, uh, and it's looking good for him. Yeah, I mean, I think Daniel can come can come back in this game also because he has another copy of Jolly Lock in his hand for yeah, the turn I after. I think here, like Daniel has plenty of damage. Yep. Uh, he can potentially push for a game even. Because if he's playing uh, Thousand Dice, for example, yeah. he can do the cross ship Thousand Dice combo where he steals two, makes Bottles Ward, and then just OTK there. Yeah, I mean, I think he can deal enough damage here. I Let's think see uh, if, if unless he, uh, he is scared of the back row and decides to destroy it, so maybe that gives Hermon uh, another yeah, play. Another chance, yeah. I think we could see Thunder Dragon going undefeated, so. Let's just take a look. Uh, Maybe he's going for the Phoenix here. What you think? Oh, the Phoenix might be the way he yeah. doesn't win here, though. He's playing around the back row, but this Phoenix might cost him the game. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to activate the Phoenix to pop the back row. Yeah. Not going to be happy to see that. It might be actually what gives uh, Herman another turn. And he picks up another instant fusion, not very useful. Yeah, doesn't change that much. Still a lot, a lot of damage. So I believe he might still be able to OTK through the trap, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy, but for sure he can deal a lot of damage in this part. Yeah, I mean, he's playing Thousand Eyes, Yeah, I yeah, yeah, right? for sure. Yeah, so, yeah he's so. playing it. Yeah. So... He's just been playing like super conservatively. Yeah, I, mean, uh, you go I guess the, maybe the he's trying to play around Nibiru, but I don't think he really has the means for that. Yeah, no, I don't think so. He can get the Dragon Duo, which he already has. So he has all the tools right now. If he gets the Matrix, for example, he's going to be able to destroy whatever his opponent brings back. Yeah. The only effect which is super relevant is the other effect of Spiral Drone. Yeah which is actually quite obscure. I'm going to bring it up for you guys on screen. So you usually never see this, but you, it has another effect. So if you tribute it, then it buffs your spiral by 500 for each uh, of your opponent cards. So it can get a huge helix. So hopefully Daniel is going to take that into consideration. Yeah, because otherwise it could cause him, it could no, cause I, him the game. Yeah, yeah, I really hope he doesn't lose this way. It would be very unfortunate. But yeah, with the Thousand Eyes being summoned here, is that's not gonna happen? Is he going for thousand yeah, eyes? I think yes. He has to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So cross ship uh, can trigger here if he wants, getting back uh, any of his uh, solar, for example. Pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, if if he doesn't mess yeah, up yeah, here, yeah. I think. It could be enough, but it's not going to be easy. He has I to think, uh, like, what I'm really worried here is that he's not using the thousand eyes, though. Ooh. He didn't use the thousand eyes. Did he forget? He forgot. He it. completely forgot yeah, about he forgot it. it. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay, I'm not understanding you. Oh my god. This could be huge. Like, he yeah. completely forgot to use the Thousand Dice effect and... Uh, yeah, he could have taken the double helix. Let's and, hope uh, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't actually does it for him. Because like, if he added the fusion here, he could have got for Titan. But wow, the drone—it's uh, such a huge. Uh, yeah, it will cost change. him the game if he doesn't remember it. Yeah, he can for like if he doesn't attack with Bartos World first, then the drone. Oh no, this is gonna no. be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He yeah. can just use the drone. You can see he forgot yeah. about the drone completely. Now he can use the draw, make the spiral really big and actually bigger than the duo. Wow. Yeah, he completely forgot about his second effect. Indeed, he's reading the card. Yeah. As you were saying before, it, it could cost Daniel the game. This is a very unfortunate uh, situation because he's... He, what? What? Yeah, okay, he used yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He used Bottles Word, which now he's going to be able to attack twice. But I feel like this was so easy. Like, he had so many ways with his fusions to just find enough. And they're just doing some uh, calculations here on how much damage yeah. this is. Yeah, this was pretty unfortunate because otherwise Daniel could have... I don't want to say he could have won this turn, but maybe he could have no, pushed a sure. lot of damage. I think he, he has game every time if he plays this... Uh, like with the fusion, with the titan, having a, a card in hand to destroy whatever he brings back. Or, of course, if he does, just didn't go for the Phoenix. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it, it could have been enough. Because yeah, without the Helix, here, he had drawn only You have drawn. to imagine yeah. that the Thousand Dice was also there, so the Helix wouldn't be on the field right now. Yeah, I think it was enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. So, very unfortunate. And I'm scared for him because we see Mystic Mine from Airman. So if he doesn't find enough damage here, Mystic Mine is going to hurt like crazy. Yeah, it's going to completely change this game. So an attack goes through and uh, this is going to be 3,000 damage. And when he's going to attack with the biggest one, Erman, which is of course the Boris Ward, Erman is just going to use his uh, rescue. So. Yeah, unfortunately Daniel completely forgot about the drone. Well, didn't he attack? He, he passed. I'm not sure here again. Did he just pass? I think he attacked over the helix and he what? didn't attack once again. Or what? I'm not like. I'm really confused right now. But okay, I'm gonna try my best to stay in this. So I'm not sure why he didn't continue with his attacks. He switched the duo to attack twice but just didn't attack afterwards. Drone lock comes down, but Mystic Mind yeah, here, Mystic Mind is here. It, it's just enough. The Titan was not there anymore, and the, the mine just completely changed it. At the same time, he doesn't have any interaction, so maybe he doesn't even need to go for that. Yeah, looks like Erman wants to play also because he has the rescue in his graveyard. So the tough plus agent in the end uh, seems like uh, there is no way Erman doesn't have this. I'm really confused to some of the things that happened this game uh, but it seems like Herman found his uh, yeah his option so the drone lock uh, let's not forget about yeah. it but here comes the third copy of helix with the trap in his graveyard yeah. uh, it's probably more than enough right it's going to hurt a lot here and i think Herman has game Probably. I mean, uh, the only thing that might be uh, weird uh, is the drone lock. Yeah. But maybe he doesn't. So <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure anymore because, like last turn, I saw at least the four different ways of going for game, but it still didn't happen. So I'm uh, not gonna try and uh, <laughs> guess uh, if there is uh, enough damage here. So. so he's not considering his moves. Um... On the other hand, Daniel, he could have, uh, I mean, he had enough damage, but that was pretty unfortunate that he completely forgot about the drone's effect in that spot. Yeah, uh, Erman uh, trying, uh, just like us, to figure out if there is enough damage here. And if there isn't, he just wasted an opportunity to win the game with Mystic Mind. Yeah, he yeah, really needs to be careful. Because if he doesn't win this in this turn, it, it, it could cost him like this game. Um, 
I, I think he can deal enough damage. Let's see if he can. Um, so the tough. Came back through the yeah. trap. To the huh? rescue. Yeah. From the graveyard. So let's check it out. And the last resort comes down. This seems super underwhelming, doesn't it? Yeah. I was not expecting this. Uh, it's like now, sure, you can crash and destroy the Phoenix, but like this is super weak. And now he's once more exposed to his opponent. Uh, I'm really not getting where these guys are like trying to do. I guess maybe the time is also a consideration because there are around six minutes left. So maybe they are just getting into panic mode. Uh, by the way, our rest of the matches are all done, so we can see a huge crowd gathering around uh, to yeah, watch this everybody's match. Everybody's watching this match. It's not easy to just stay focused like that. Uh, and here, uh, there is instant fusion. There is the Orc. Even the Roar is picked up. I think once more, Daniel has a chance to just take this game. Does yeah, he see it, I though? Mean, uh, he has to deal 5,000 damage. It's not that impossible here. No, it seems like it's quite doable, to be honest. He also has the fusion in his, in his graveyard, right? Yeah, he can get the fusion back yep. to, with uh, the Roar, and he can just start using the Titan. So I'm, I'm really thinking how he doesn't take it here. Is he playing just one cross ship? I think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, only one copy. So the, the second copy would have been like really good here, but he's uh, starting thing off with Titan. Uh, pretty weird that Herman didn't want to activate the mine here. Um, okay, so he decides to go for Titan. So now he banishes the other copy of Fusion, probably gonna get the duo from this perspective. No, he does get he the Thunder Dragon. Dragon. He's gonna destroy the entire field from Herman, uh, and with the Orc in his hand, uh, it seems like this will yeah. be enough. Can he finally see the line where he has just enough to push for game? It seems super seems, easy from yeah. this point on. He's now, yeah, he's now what looking a back at the and life forth points. Match. So hopefully he does know how many life points there are. So Ock is going to be used. He's going to destroy the tough. The trap is not yeah. there anymore. And it seems like this is game. If there is yeah. the, the roar, yeah. Yeah, it is enough, guys. This is more than enough. Just taking his time. Just yeah. attack and it's all over. Do it. And that's he does it. it, so he takes it. And that's it, guys. Thunder Dragon 6 and O. Oh. What a match. Let's go back to us real quick for a recap. Wow. So, <laughs> wow, what happened? I don't know, this game is... Just all of the games were crazy, honestly. Yeah. You can see two of really good players playing their own version of the deck, something we have not seen yet. A going second spiral, really full of techs, and his opponent on Thunder Dragon, like who would have fought? Six and zero, like yeah. undefeated Thunder Dragon player without Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> you better be scared of this deck, guys, if you're playing against this guy. Absolutely. <laughs> to be honest, it seems like he could have won like super easily even before, but just like Flexed on his opponent, yeah. kind of. Yeah, I, I mean, know. like, he only played with only Thunder Dragon cards without relying on Sanctum. And, I mean, he had, of course, Drone Lock in his third, and third game. Yeah. But, like, Thunder Dragon showed that he's really strong. Yeah, he was Still really strong. prepared and uh, quite unfortunate uh, from uh, Ermon because he couldn't capitalize. But if game one and two were interesting, we got to see some of these combos. Yeah. Game three was so unbelievable. Yeah, like, I mean, we had. The, Eight to nine turns where they yeah. just draw pass, draw pass, draw pass, kept on drawing useless cards. Yeah. And finally, they both uh, uh, didn't see enough damage to OTK their opponent, so they it was just an unbelievable series. Yeah, I mean, over it's there. one of these games in which you really don't know who, who, who's gonna win. Yeah. So you really want, or maybe he's gonna win, but the turn after that, it, it, like, it's yeah, really you back never and know forth what's game. gonna happen. Yeah. Anyway, like, we still have so much action for you guys. There are gonna be nine rounds today. And tomorrow we are going to go up to 12 with top 64. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, the spotlight is on Daniel and his Thunder Dragon deck. He's with you for an interview. Let's go back to them. Thank you very much, Machola. Yes, I'm here with Daniel. 
Um, how are you feeling about Thunder Dragon Colossus right now? Uh, I mean, I'm sad he's gone, but like the deck can function without him. It's just. I think that was pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, since Engage is banned, like the main target for the card is like gone. It would be very nice against Spyro, like turn one. But like Titan is a very good card. Like a lot of decks have problem with it, and like if you mix it up with like auto win cards like Shifter and Sanctum, I think that it's really good. I mean, I think Dimension Shifter was was a pretty big MVP in that game. You know, you you saw it a few times, and all, all the time it made a lot of impact. Yeah, I mean, game two, I forgot that Gamma destroys my solar, so I had a card engrave. Like, it's just the stuff that happens. Like, if you're in the featured match and. Really nervous, but yeah, the card is really good. It's basically, for Spiral, they just pass. And if you open good, you can just kill them. So. Yeah, all you people at home who are saying, oh, we could have done this, could have done that. It's very, very intense in the feature match, right? It's very hard. Like, I wasn't expecting to be that hard. I did like, I believe, five to ten misplays and ended up winning because I got really lucky. But, I mean, that's really good. Just describe to the to the viewers at home, like the crowd as the the round goes on. Did you notice that it fills up and gets more and more people watching? Not at all. No. No, you were just so focused. I was, I was trying not to mess up again, so I didn't even watch that direction. So, because I, I mean, I know there are some people that I know standing there and probably judging me over my misplays, but. Well, you managed to make it in the feature match and have that victory, whereas you know they were just stood in the crowd. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty lucky with. Being 6 0, but yeah, it's very nice. With Thunder Dragons, it's pretty good, you know. This, this, I'm sure that if you, you know, you told your friends coming into this, oh, I'm gonna be 6 0 on the first day, you know, what would they, what would they think? Uh, no, like all of my friends probably thought they'd scrub out by now, but I think some of them are still being X1 or to draw, so it's going well for them, uh, going well for them too. Not as well as you, though. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Say again. I think they're doing very, very good. So, well, thank you very much, Daniel. What a what a pleasure to see Thunder Dragon still being able to compete really well uh, in the meta. So, best of luck for the rest of the rounds. And that's going to be it for us for round six. We'll see you. In